Well, the Bronxdale projects, to me, it reminded me of Cabrini Green in Chicago. And we said, okay, yo, this is how we getting down. And we rocked it like that. So, yeah, you could say the culture was 30s and it's ever, you could say all of that. But that has nothing to do with what we created. We created a, 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 what, a genre, a, a style that we call hip hop. Right. And that's it. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing against what they did in the 30s. Or, Pig Meat Martin, what I believe was what it, it, it definitely introduced me into what we do now for hip hop was he was on the microphone, drum playing. Yeah, where did he get that beat though from? Where was that? That was, that was a drum? That was a drum. That was a band? Yeah, that was a band. You see, you see everything, and, that, and that's what kills me to this day. You know, a lot of records, right, when they started out being records, were bands, were musicians. Records now are computerized. They take the sounds of instruments and they put them into a, a sample form. And that's what the music is. So a lot of times you'll hear uh, a, a, a bass line or you something, and that's just the bass line from the, the record that has all the instruments playing, has the saxophone, has the trumpet, has the lead guitar, has the bass, you know, has the keyboards, the piano, uh, the bongos, the drums, the, 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 the percussion, the, 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 the xylophone, the, all of those things were inside of the original record, but someone take a piece, one instrument, out of the record and, and and do it. And so that's where we, what we did. We said, especially me, because I'm a drummer. We said, I like how that drum sounds. Do, do that, that, do that. All right. And then after the drum, the bass line comes in. Doom, 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 doom. Okay. And so that's what we like. That's what we call the breakdown. So in the 30s or whatever, they liked it all combined together. They liked that to combined together. They, they they like it, you know. And so, you know, what Pitt Me Martin did was, and just like what James Brown did was, he said that sound is gonna be where he says his voice. And you know, so so that that drummer breakdown is where he's gonna get to say what he his talk his trash or talk his stuff, you know, while that drum beat is going, and that's what it is. You know, James Brown, you know, it's one of my idols. He was able to take, you know, the two drummers and combine them together to make a sound that has been duplicated over and over and over and over again. And so when those two drummers were, were, were syncopated and doing that sound, that's where a lot of his funk comes from. It comes from that drum beat and him able to talk and, and, and say his scats and, and, and all of that stuff inside of those drum beats. So hip hop took that, those, those elements, those things, and said, look, that's what we want to do. We want to we wanna take that drum beat because that's the funkiest part of the record. Uh, we want to take that bass line because that's the funkiest part of the record. And once we do that, we're going to incorporate that with somebody on the mic saying this and 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 this. So that's where the biggest uh, uh, controversy comes in is when they say about the Jamaican, uh, 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 you know, which is her, 
uh, the Jamaican culture coming and, and starting hip hop. I came back and, and changed that with a lot of toasting, you know. Did you get but, that idea from America? America, right. And then I got together with Count Machuki and, you know, would just toast to him like I've heard it on the radio station. If you go to the, the oldest uh, disc jockey in Jamaica and this living or whatever, and you ask him, where did he get his style? Where did he get anything that he'll do? He'll say from American radio stations, okay? So that means that the, the, Amer the American radio station had a certain style and was doing it. Now, they say, uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, I forgot, now you made me forget what they call well, look, it. But that's a good thing, though, right? Because this, this, in a 50, Hip Hop 50 celebration, I didn't hear too much about Jamaican culture. You know why? So that's a good thing. But do you know why? <laughs> what? Because they cannot, there's nothing they can put that'll, that'll even, uh, uh, I would say even contemplate that the Jamaican culture or any other culture was involved right. with the creation of hip hop. Right. But at one time they were trying to say that. Now, they, and they still, oh, right. oh, they, 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 you know, and like I said, the, why would they say that? You know why they say that? Because anything that we do, anything that we do, somebody wants to do and take it over. Somebody want to do better. People want to outdo us. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I just think that's a, that's a, um, a good thing that the truth is coming out that Jamaican culture had nothing to do with starting hip hop. So at least it feels like we were going on the right track. Right. Because it, it seemed like we but, was off but, track. You know, you you know, you told me <laughs> the that the world was off track. You, you told me that years ago. You said at least we're gonna start on the right track. Right. And years later, look. Right. Look what it did. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Look what you know, look when we first started. People wasn't talking about Mario. Right, right. <laughs> right. People wasn't even talking about Bronx Deal. Right. People wasn't doing that. Right. And then once we started, and it started, we were doing the hard work we did. It, 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 it's finally coming to the right. day. And, and by the time we finish, it's going to be known the real truth. God willing, right? God willing. It's gonna, it's gonna be known the real truth. Right. It's gonna be known about the real truth. Um, you know, I, I said it, and I say this uh, to you because I, can, you know, we talk about everything. I must admit, this I must admit that I totally understand what was needed for religion. I totally know and I understand what was needed for religion. What do you mean? Um, without structure, we right. would all just go to, and that's right. what's happening. Exactly. That's exactly. what's happening. If we don't have any boundaries or if we don't have any anything right. to curve or to base right. anything on, then it's just chaos. Exactly. Yeah, my man. You finally get it right. And and so the chaos that's happening now, um, I must admit, if we had had and and don't get me wrong, I feel like a lot of the structure is within us. It's not basically handwritten or whatever. But if we had that for them to base a guideline on, right. then we would at least be on the right track right. to going to do what is right. right. So I must admit that, you know, Good. out of all the years that we've been doing that, 
Yeah. I must admit that. And I got a lot of those videos I was going to put out, but, you know, we talk about religion and stuff. I don't know how you feel about it now, but uh, I, I, well, to me, and, and and you know, since we're going to go there, I, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna put it like this. I believe, and this is just my belief. It doesn't have nothing to do with anybody else, please. I believe that a certain man, a certain group of people, took something because of our kind hearts, of is our, our willing to want to do what's right, and took that and structured it in a, in a way to we believe that if we don't do what's in this Bible or we don't do what's in these things, that we're gonna burn in hell and 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 yeah. do, okay, so, okay, yeah, so, right, so, it. right, right. So they're not digging to, well, what the, why this is, you know, why are you not supposed to kill each other? Why are you not supposed to, right. to, to get high? Why are you not supposed to steal? You know, because when you break it down, you know, adultery is stealing. You know, it, it, you, you're, you're, you're committing, you're, you're, you're taking someone's wife or husband and you're, you're, you're having sexual intercourse or whatever. So that's stealing. And you don't want nobody to steal from you, so why would you steal from somebody else? When you hurt somebody or whatever, you don't want to be hurt, you don't want to be killed, you don't want to be dead, so why would you kill somebody else? You know what I'm saying? So those are the basic uh, uh, realms of the with the structure um, that I'm talking about, like that. They have those in the commandments, you know, and the commandments are uh, what are what 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 are our basic uh, human uh, rights and wrongs, you know? So I believe that, you know, and this is just my opinion, I believe that with Jesus and they placing Jesus, when I say they, you know, I mean the pink people, placing him as someone that looks more like them than us is so that we could could in a sense say that okay Jesus is God and so we should bow down to God they're not telling you know that okay that Jesus would have been one of us you see what I'm saying yeah, so can it, I go ahead phase look they were supposed to do that they were supposed to make it jesus in their image because they're trying to rise up they feel they, they probably feel, felt like they couldn't rise up with a brown skin jesus image right so okay need, so stop right there they need a, a why? Jesus in their why why okay so you because just said it's it right the ego is the ego you, of you human just beings said, but no you just said they couldn't have it in our image right why maybe they felt like that Right. So but tell me, why would they feel like that? It got to do with self-esteem. The same reason why it's hard for us to rise looking at a Jesus in their image. So what I'm saying is, right. we don't have to complain. That's so first level. The only thing we got to do is make agree on a Jesus in our image and move on. Right. That's all we got to do. Right. This right. is and our image the, of Jesus. That, that, now let's move right, on. Right. Right. Conversation that, over. Let's yeah. not talk about it no more. This is our image of Jesus. Okay. So. What can we do to start that? I th I was already doing it, but people wasn't there, so I can't I can't you know I got to slow down. I got to dumb it down and go at people's pace. I got to go at people. People are not there yet, so I've been introducing the brown skin Jesus, saying which Jesus for us. You know what I'm saying? Which Jesus can we agree on? But I also got to say it's important to say that we are never to make an image of God. We're never to make an image or picture of God. Jesus was a man. Right. He was a prophet. And so, he was a but, man. hey, how you doing? All right. I'm good. Everybody okay? Okay. So. It's very important. That's, that's, You're so, not supposed to make just, an image of God. You said, and you said that's, that's one of the key things. They have Jesus. Right. As God, but that's the thing. We can make our thing, uh, but that's the whole problem. That's what it is. It's about okay. Say for instance, uh, uh, routine. 
routine is okay you wake up in the morning you brush your teeth you do the things you have to do you get something to eat you just get out get dressed you go about your day right that's routine right so if all of this time the routine was saying that Jesus is this mm -hmm. and Jesus is that it's hard for anybody to break out of that routine. There has to be something dramatic to say, look, this is 100% wrong. We ain't got to say it's wrong. All we got to do is say one for us. I mean, we've been talking about this from, I remember the, the good times. Remember the good times? The, 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 the six home? They were talking about black Jesus. That was how many years ago? 50 years ago. Forget it. The only Jesus I know is him, and the one thing he don't need is a partner. <laughs> Mama, how do we know Jesus wasn't black? He could have been from the lost tribe of Israel. They were supposed to be black. I bet they were. If ever people were lost, we're it. <laughs> It, it ain't got to be wrong because we don't know for sure because there was no pictures back in the day. You know what I'm saying? They what might do you mean have, we don't know for because sure? Because there was no Polaroid pictures of Jesus back okay, then. Okay, so stop. Stop right there and I'm going to prove to you why we know it's wrong. Number one, number one, which I'm finding out now, too, is a little shaky, too. Number one, if if Jesus was born in that re region of the world, right. at that time, right. there's no way in the world he could be pink. Now, listen to what I'm saying. I didn't mean pink. What I said, we don't know. What I'm saying is, okay, that region of the world, you got a lot of different complexions. You got brown-skinned people with straight hair. Okay. You go to India, Pakistan, Turkey, all around that area. You got people dark as you with straight hair. We don't know Jesus may have been looking like that. We okay. don't know if he was that or with woolly hair like an afro. We don't okay. know. But you got to understand We know that, that he was brown skin. Wait a minute. He could have been brown skin okay. all Wait day. Minute. Wait a minute. Listen, now, you have to go back to what they're finding, okay? Who find it? When I say <laughs> pink people, whoa, who's whoa, finding? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's finding? Whoa, this is a big thing. Now, from what we know, all right, and I just sent, I think I just sent it to you the other day that uh, Corinthians, I think something names. The, the 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 people in the Bible and the things of the Bible, right? And Utah has those things. There's a list of them of the things. So the biggest trick, which I'm glad we got a chance to do this, the biggest trick from my research is finding out that we're not necessarily from Africa. Yeah, regardless, you said okay. the region. That right, region right, is right, full right. of all kinds so, of brown skinned people. So, right, right. Yeah, but 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 you, you just said it. You said brown skinned people. Yeah. So the image that they have right. is pink and with blue eyes. Well, some got black okay, eyes. Okay, so you tell you tell me you tell me of those Indians or the ones that you're talking about with the straight hair or whatever. Right. You show me one uh, blue eye, one of those. Face. What I'm saying is, let's not waste energy with that. That doesn't matter. They have a right to do whatever they want to do. We have a right to do what we want to do but and raise we our children. Do it? When are we gonna do it? You I've been doing it. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it. I'm waiting for you. Okay. All right. Okay. I had to erase a video back when our brother okay. Roy was alive. Right. Rest in peace, Roy. Right. I did a video, wish Jesus for us. Like, yo, let's get a census and let's agree on the right. Jesus. Okay. Let's agree on a, on a picture of Jesus well, and okay. let's move well, forward. I, I tell you what. I tell you what. 
from what's coming up in December, I'm going to take a couple of minutes and say that. Yeah, word, word. Okay. Word. I'm going to make sure that that's going to be a start. Just like how we started. We could do that with the spades. Of course. We could have the spades say, hey, let's agree on a picture of Jesus. Right, right, right. Okay. So and we so, ain't got to keep going through this. Okay. And so when I say <laughs> that we're going to start. Now remember, we saying that in front of Building 1. Right. 755 Rosedale Avenue. Right. The first building. And we had a fallout shelter. Okay. Okay. So we're saying that on this day. All right. So. This is September 20th. 2023. I don't know what that day it is or whatever, September but 20th. but but you have to say that in the video. But okay, but whatever day it is, this day we're gonna start just like how we start these videos. We're gonna start to to choosing our image of Jesus. Right. And I just want to say, if we're successful with this. The whole point is not to bow to no image or no picture. It's not right. to bow to it, but right. it's just more, at least for me, it's more for the children. Right. So right. they can have that because my children already, I raised them with the brown skin Jesus. And I, right. We don't have that problem. Right. Children don't but know the brown skin right. Jesus. Right. So you're the one. That's right. Uh, so, right, you're one part right. of the rest of what has to be done. We're not to bow to any images. I can't stress that enough, but it's just the point of our children getting rid of that Caesar Bogier, uh image, that Caucasian Jesus image in their mind. False images of Jesus. The Renaissance depiction of Christ as a handsome, thin-faced white man with a thin beard is based on the likeness of Cesare Borgia. But it's just the point of our children getting rid of that Caesar Bogier, uh image, that Caucasian Jesus image in their mind. Right. That's what it's about. Right. Right. Because that got to do with the self-esteem and right. looking at them as being well, great. Uh, greater and, 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 right. Uh, uh, right. So we need a, right. a picture of Jesus for our children. Right. Right. That is, that is wonderful. And I cannot wait to do our first video on that. And, um, like it's gonna be historic, you know. That video that we do do okay. on this is gonna be historic, man. Right. It's gonna be, you know. And so, hopefully, this will take a uh, presence of our uh, like our other videos do and spread from that point, just like our other videos did. Right. And check it out. Of all the prophets, not just Jesus, all of them. How about right. all of them? Right. Moses. Right. And we're going to do that. All of see, them. And, and see, that's a big thing. Right. Like I said, you know, before, people don't know of the things until it's told. You see what I'm saying? So, if they were not hearing what we're saying, then how are they going to know it? You see what I'm saying? So that's something that our kids can teach their kids right. to teach their right. kids. We break out of to, slavery. And break out of slavery. And we'll break out of slavery. Right. You know, and that'll be, if I can see a part of it, Right. Before the modernized, you know, that would make me so so happy. Right. That would be make right. me so so happy, you know. Right. But um, you know, and like, and, and I want to say this even for the brothers who don't believe in Jesus, still join us. Pick a Jesus because you know what I'm saying you got to see the bigger picture. Right. Th that Jesus in the Bible is not going nowhere no time soon. It's going to it's outlive already, you. Right. So when you pass right. away, the Bible and the pictures of Jesus is still going to be around. Right. So, yes, that's a hundred so, good right. point. So that's good why point. we need to have our pictures of Jesus. Our image You know what I'm saying? Right. That can last the test of time because it ain't right. going nowhere. Right. That's a hundred percent right. right. Even for you the brothers who don't. That. Even right. for the brothers who don't believe right. in right. Christianity. Like me. Enough, like, right. me. Right. like me. Like me. Right. right. Wow. That that makes a lot of sense, right. man. We got oh wow, that just sent some chills in me right yeah. now, man. Because 
that's a good thing, you know. Right. Um, we're 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 in the process of being doomed, and I mean that. Mm. Um, you know the way the things, the structure is now of life for us is getting worse and worse. Mm. Um, you know, many years ago, I told you about the inflation, about how much it is now and everything. Um, so remember back then, we were saying what, a thousand something dollars. Um, now for a two bedroom apartment, it starts at $2,000 and then goes up. Like it 